Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. Last time I ventured deep into the catacombs and today I intend to go even deeper. I'm hoping that by the end of this video I can easily survive in floor 3 so I can grind for adaptive armor. But before I head back into the dungeon, I first need to make a stop by the mines. Because I'm a single daily commission away from Heart of the Mountain tier 5. I actually haven't even been mining that much lately. All I've been doing is making sure I get my daily commissions. And there we go. All I need to do is claim that. And I made it to peak of the mountain. Once I get 50,000 mithril powder, I can max out the forge. Which means a lot more money for me since the forge is the way I make my coins. Speaking of which, I once again made a lot of money. And this time, I mean a lot. Last video, I invested around 3 to 4 million coins into a spooky event. Well, another one happened. And this time, I invested 14 million coins. Thanks to that, I now have 30 million to claim. With an extra 8 million for my bank, I am now sitting at 37 million coins. A normal player would just get some Shadow Assassin armor, a Flower of Truth, and a carry to floor 5, and they're good to go. But because of the rules of my profile, I can't buy armor, and I don't want to be carried. However, I can get the Flower of Truth. It's true that it's a weapon, but it's one that I can craft, just by buying 9 of these. That ended up costing me quite a lot more than if I were to buy the Flower of Truth. With no combat or cat requirement, I have no reason not to craft this beautiful weapon. Now, I just need to enchant it. Alright, I got myself a much better weapon, but there isn't really much I can do about my armor. The only other option I have is probably superior armor, and that's way too expensive. I'm actually gonna spend the rest of my coins on a pet. I'm of course talking about the one and only baby yeti. Luckily for me, the Jerry event just happened a couple of hours ago, so the prices are a little bit lower than usual. But I'm not going for level 1s because they're fishing pets and I hate fishing. So I'm gonna look for something with a higher level, preferably with a dwarf turtle shellman. Like this one. It's level 71, it has the item I need, and zero pet candy uses, so I can level it up using those in the future. That's actually a really good price, I'm not even gonna think about it. Give me the pet, thank you. <laughs> if you don't know what's so good about this pet, it converts your strength into defense. So if you have a decent amount of strength, you're basically gonna be a tank. And the weapon I just got earlier gives a bunch of strength. So while holding it, I have 11,700 effective health outside of dungeons, which is actually pretty good for someone who just started. Another thing I wanted to upgrade is my Wand of Healing. This thing proved surprisingly useful in dungeons, and the next zombie tier is actually gonna allow me to upgrade it. A single tier 3 horror should do the trick. I've actually been told that my Fell Sword does similar damage to a Flower of Truth, and now that I have both of those, I can test it by myself. So a Fell Sword did 17.5k, and a Flower of Truth does 18k. However, the Fell Sword is only good for single targets. The Flower of Truth is gonna help me clear a lot faster in dungeons, and I'm just gonna kill this boss real quick. It doesn't even do any damage whatsoever. Last time at least it did a heart or half a heart of damage. With the Baby Yeti, it didn't even do that. I'll gladly take my 100 XP. Next tier is gonna require a thousand. I also unlocked the Slayer's specialized weapon. I'll eventually end up crafting this whenever I get into the Revenant Slayer, but for now I'm only doing this for the Wand of Mending. I just need the Revenant for Sarah and 12 enchanted dark oak. Place this here, this here, and finally this here. And I get myself a wand of mending. I'm actually curious to see if I can kill the tier 4. It's gonna require 138 kills. On my main profile, even the tier 5 doesn't require this much. But that's because I constantly have a cookie buff, a god pot, and on top of all of that, I have a legendary wolf to boost my combat XP gain. If I can't kill this boss, then that's 50k thrown into the void. But if I can, then I might grind to level up my wand of healing. But here it is, it just spawned. It has 1.5 million HP, I forgot about that. Okay, there's a lot of lighting, so I can't exactly tell what's going on, but I'm barely taking any damage. This is really surprising. I expect it to take some damage at least, but nothing from the tier 4 boss? Okay, it's enraged, so it does a little bit of damage. Nothing to be concerned about though, I didn't even spawn my power orb, and just like that, the tier 4 zombie boss is officially dead. I will gladly take the 500 zombie slayer XP. Time to start another one. I'm pretty sure if I get the specialized weapon, it's gonna take a lot less time to kill this thing, but for now the flower of truth is working pretty well, so I don't mind. I'm now zombie slayer level 4. Oh, I need zombie slayer level 6 
for the wand upgrade. I'm not exactly sure how much that's gonna end up costing me, but honestly don't mind doing some slayers, so I'm gonna get Zombie Slayer 5, and then I'll decide whether to continue the grind or not. Let me just collect my rewards. Oh, I got a minion. Between level 4 and 5, I have unlocked a full set of Revenant armor. But anyways, the next level is 20,000. I'm gonna unlock the Reaper Falchion, the Revived Heart, as well as the Wand of Restoration. I just noticed this one's ability is gonna cost 200 mana, so I'm barely gonna have any mana left after I use this. Since that's the case, I'm not even gonna bother grinding for it. But at least I made it to Zombie Slayer level 5. With all of that out of the way, it's finally time I head into the dungeon. But before I jump into higher floors, I first want to get my second collection reward. Bonzo's Mask. If I'm about to die, I can just put this thing on my head, and it's gonna give me a second chance in life. And I'm only 3 floor 1 runs away. Thanks to some grinding, I am now Kata 11, as well as Burr's 10. I was already comfortable in floor 1, but this is gonna bring it to a whole new level. Normally, these mobs would at least do some damage to me. Not exactly sure why I have Shadow Assassin players on a floor 1 party, but I'll take it. And the second run is done. For the third time, I'm gonna try to solo Bonzo all by myself. Okay, I thought this would actually be somewhat of a challenge, but uh, clearly not. Yep, dead. I'm gonna take my free chest, thank you. And now, I can claim that. Now that I have a Bonzo mask in hand, a good weapon, and a really good pet by my side, it's time I try floor 2 again. I managed to find a party that's pretty similar to my stats. Why do we only have 4 players? Well, someone already left the dungeon, that's always a good start. But I'm pretty sure if these players have any idea what they're doing, we can actually do this with only 4 players. Okay, time to solo a lost adventure in floor 2. Which might have been a bad idea, because I'm taking tons of damage. I am leaving this place, no thank you, that was a big mistake. I think if I'm careful about this, like really careful, I can kill it. I'm not being very careful right now. I'm not giving up though, I'm gonna kill this thing one way or another. There we go. Apart from the adventurer from earlier, nothing even came close to being a threat. Time for the boss fight, hopefully we don't all just die. If I remember correctly, we have to target the priest first, but I'm not sure which one he is. So I'm just gonna go with bring home bacon, and he was right. The priest is right here, stop running. And he's dead, I'm getting kind of low, but oh. Bruh. I didn't even have time to put on my bonzo head. To be honest, I probably should have put that on when I first joined the boss room. We actually got S though, I'll take that. This just is 90k profit, I'll take that, thank you. While I could kind of survive in floor 2, the boss completely destroyed me. So before I jump into floor 3, I'm gonna spend some time playing in floor 2 to get my catacombs level higher. I'm gonna do what I did with floor 1 and go for the second collection reward. That's also gonna get me a pretty expensive accessory for free. Why is he barely doing any damage now? What? changed oh would you look at that my first ever s plus oh actual real profit right here until i get the collection milestone reward i'm gonna keep this for myself sadly no profit this time so i'll be taking the free chest wait again this one is from the obby chest so it's gonna cost a lot more but i'll still take it i've lost count of how many s pluses we got so far but uh we got another one. Oh my god another scarf studies dude i kid you not so far in this party we dropped like eight of these uh, another one dude someone else has got it i'm halfway there and i'll try to 1v1 scarf and his minions i keep getting teleported i'm not sure why but yeah, no, this is... Yeah, no, there's there, there's no way I'm winning this. I'm just gonna go into a corner that I can stab. They're just watching. And uh, I'm actually 1v1 in Scarf somehow. Ah, wait. Death. Death. Where are you going? Okay. <laughs> Only death. <laughs> to be fair, they did heal me a bunch of times, and I get this again. I still have 24 more runs to go, though, so I'll do those before I hop onto floor 3. The worst part about being a new profile and having an aspect of the end is that you're constantly out of mana. You have one of the coolest items in the game and you can't use it. I might actually spend millions just to get Alchemy 50 for the extra in Chalazans. I'm already doing enchanting every single day. I'm already enchanting 28. I even got myself a guardian pet for the enchanting XP boost. Ooh, adaptive blade. I mean, I already have a flower of truth. It outclasses this weapon so freaking much and someone else got a scarf studies. Bruh.
Oh my <laughs> Bro. I'll take that. Ooh, this is super satisfying. Yes. Yes, I also really need spider essence for whenever I eventually get a tarantula helmet so I can five star it. Yes, this is the real reason I got a flower of truth. This is so much fun. I wish if all rooms were like this. The best part about the uh, Flower of Truth is that it uses percentage mana. So no matter how little mana you have, you can use it the same amount of times as someone with a billion mana. Ooh, it's plus. Ooh! That's what we call a pog moment, gamers. Nothing there. Nothing. Ooh, profit, actually. I'll take 48k, sure. All right, that was the last run, but before I hop into floor three, there is one more item I want to get. Now, the wand of healing works pretty well if I want to heal, but sometimes I just want to heal instantly to avoid death, right? And for that, there is the zombie sword. One problem though, I have to unlock it. I'm pretty close thanks to all the zombies I killed in dungeons, but I still need like 1.7k rotten flesh. However, Oh, well, you think I'm playing Skyblock? I'm actually playing 5D chess. I already have minions set up for that. And all I have to do to unlock the sword is claim them. There we go. Zombie sword unlocked. And yes, I'm back at 21 million coins. The forge is kind of OP. To craft this thing, I'm gonna need two zombie hearts and a normal stick. To craft the zombie hearts, I'm gonna need a ton of rotten flesh. That's technically a helmet, so I can't buy it from the auction house. I'm gonna have to craft it myself. Good thing I have the recipe unlocked, though. First zombie heart, second zombie heart, one stick, put this here, this here, and boom, zombie sword. Now, because I am a big brain individual, I'm already gonna upgrade this. I'm not just gonna go with the first one. I'm gonna need two enchanted gold blocks and one of these, 50k each. Put this here, here, here. Ornate zombie sword. I only needed one. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Actually, I lied. Before I go into floor three, Seeing how lucky I was in floor two, I want to do a Nucleus run. Okay, I'm just feeling lucky today. I don't know what it is. Don't worry though, it's not gonna take forever because I'm already prepared. I already did a ton of automaton grinding. I'm missing a single part, but I can just buy it for like 80k. I got six control switches, man. I also got the jungle keys I'm going to need. I'm basically prepared. It's probably gonna take like 10 minutes to get all crystals. It's probably gonna take like 10 minutes to get all crystals. Okay. <laughs> he spawned right next to the king. I am blessed today. I'm feeling great. Right, 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 right. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. That's one crystal. Hello there, Professor Robot. Here is the first part, second part, third part, fourth, fifth, and second. Second. Give me the sapphire crystal. Thank you. Oh, that was a commission. I even got commission milestone tier four. Claim that. Thank you. Find an amethyst crystal. Give me that. And give me that. I can sell this for like four, five million coins, but I'm gonna use it because it's one per player. I will take this crystal. Please don't give me Corleon. <laughs> give me metal detector. Please, please. Yes, I am done. That took what, 20 minutes? I will take my crystal and screw this place. I am out of here. You know what? I wanted to do this uh, whole nucleus run because I was pretty lucky in dungeons. But after what I just went through, I think I've already exhausted my luck. Time to place the crystals. One down, two, three, four, five. I already see the loot. I got a divine frag. I don't know how much it's worth, but I know it's worth something at least. Three helixes, I'm not even sure what these are. Fortune four, time to check. Devon Frag, done. Oh, it's, it's 1.3 mil. That's, that's less than a gemstone extra. What about Fortune four? It's 700k, I mean, I'll take it. That's like mm, two mil, kind of. This reminds me, thank you for reminding me that gemstones exist. Uh, give me seven of these. That's not seven. 189,000 coins. And Warp Forge, give me that. I unlocked the Ring of Power. So, boom. Now I can apply Mining Fortune and Defense. I'll take my new stats, thank you. We have a full party, at last. Into floor three we go. Professor, here I come. I either get terrible teammates or teammates that are too good for me. There is no middle ground. Okay. No, 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 I don't have mana. Grappling hook for the win. Who needs an AOTE? Wait, Bruh. is that a shadow assassin? Yes, it is. 
It is a Shadow Assassin. As long as I don't get Skeletors or mini bosses, I think I am perfectly okay. I haven't even made it to the boss room, so I'm gonna have to do that before I decide whether I'm going to grind this or not. I am not stepping on that. No, thank you. I will kindly decline your offer. See what I meant? As long as I don't get mini bosses or Skeletors, I'm fine. Okay, time for the first floor three boss fight. Reinforced, why am I getting the tanky one? I'm stupid, I should have just went for this one. Which is what I'm doing. I have quite a lot of HP. And first one down. Second one down. Third one is already down. And ah. Okay. Time to kill the professor for the first time. Because you have to kill him twice. Just like Scarf. Actually, it kind of makes sense. Since uh, Scarf is the professor's student. So it would make sense. They would use similar techniques. And oh my god. He does a lot of damage. Okay. He's dead. Kind of. Ow. No, no, don't do damage. Not cool, man. I don't have mana to use my zombie sword. No, 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 no. I'm gonna step away a little bit. Heal, and then come back in. Please die, please die, please die. Yes! It's done! Floor 3 has been completed with a party that's not actually OP. And now I can start getting normal parties. I don't have to look for people with similar stats to me. It was actually an S as well. No profit. Please, please make it profit. What, what's this? <gasps> Okay, okay, normal people do not get this excited about adaptive boots, but I will gladly take these. Yes, just three more pieces to go. Give me. Oh my god, yes! It's one star too! But before I do the second run, I am gonna go enchant these new boots. Give me protection as well as growth. I'm actually gonna get hot potato books on these, since I will be using them for a very long time. 400k! Ow. I think the last thing I can do for these is 5 star them. How much will it cost me to do this? Only 25 weather essence. How much do I have? A thousand. Alright. Second star. Third. Four. And fifth. Okay, got myself some new drippy boots. I can also five star my flower of truth. I don't think I'm gonna drop adaptive armor very often. So, uh, might as well just five star this to make life a lot easier. I don't have enough weather essence. It's gonna take 800. I'll take four stars though. Okay, that's the last pog. Give me that. 500k, well spent. And because I got a ton more strength on the Flower of Truth because of the four stars and hot potato books, my baby Yeti is gonna make me even tankier. Ooh, give 71 strength. That's like nearly double what my uh, strong dragon armor gave. I can one-shot them. Pog, dude. Even the tanks. Yo. I just saw Shadow Assassin. Okay, okay. Test of true power. Still very low on mana. Okay, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I, I, nah, 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 chief, nah, not yet. I'm gonna need to raise my cat a level and get maybe a full set of adaptive armor before I try that again. I do have a serious mana issue though. Like, I need a lot more mana so I can spam the zombie sword and so I can use my wand of mending and so I can use my flower of truth. Actually, how much does Ultimate Wise 5 cost? I might get that on the Wand of Mending, because I use this thing a lot more often than a Zombie Sword. I want to find a Skeletor. I want to have a rematch against that thing, and I'm just going to spawn one real quick. I one-shot it! Get out of here! Oh, I don't have my Zombie Sword, so I can't heal. Not an issue if you can kill it fast enough. Second run is complete. Can I please get another piece? I guess I'll be taking the free chest then. We got an S for the third run, so I will take it. I think it's safe to say that I can do floor three now. Although not as easy as I wanted it to be, if I'm careful enough, I can easily survive. Before I move on to floor four though, I need full adaptive armor in order to survive. Somehow I was lucky enough to already drop the boots, but with only three kills, I still have a lot of grinding ahead of me. Luckily for me, the floor three collection gives both adaptive leggings and the adaptive chest plate. So even if I'm cursed enough not to drop them, I am guaranteed to get them after a certain amount of runs. I don't actually need the helmet because I intend to grind for the tarantula helmet. Before I end the video though, there's a couple of things I need to show you. I replaced my redstone minions with both quartz and iron because the redstone minions already serve their purpose and I have a pretty big accessory bag I'm gonna have to fill this thing up before I place them down again I even unlocked and crafted myself the personal compactor but why quartz and iron I hear you ask 
Well, these collections have some accessories which I cannot buy. For Quartz, it's both the Night Crystal and the Day Crystal. And for Iron, it's the Personal Deleter. I also placed down some Mushroom Minions to unlock the Night Vision Charm. It's only a common accessory, but it goes for way higher than it should in the Auction House, so I'm just gonna unlock and craft it myself. And that's basically it for this video. I got myself a Flower of Truth, I reached Hard Imagine 5, I even got Adaptive Boots. By the way, in case you forgot, I won't be uploading during January because I have exit exams, but there is a little special video coming up right after I'm back, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching gamers, thank you to my channel members, and I'll see you later. Peace.